To be completely honest with you, if you're playing versus her at the time she just came out, you'll be hard pressed to find something that counters this beast. But someone like Olaf works quite well since he'll deny her all of her CC, even her disarming ultimate. Darius can still win the early game in the laning phase with just sheer damage output, and Pantheon can interrupt her annoying mobility by simply jumping on top of her and blocking all her engaging attempts. Malphite if he armors it up a bit, Jax will outscale her hard, and Renekton who can dash away from her stun make other good counters as well. Irelia's passive makes her stack whenever she hits an enemy champion with one of her abilities, or at least one non-champion enemy. She can stack Ionian Fervor up to 4 times and will deal bonus magic damage on her autos per stack, and gain extra attack speed and magic damage versus shields when she's fully stacked. Her Q has remained her previous dash, and it still gets its cooldown restored if it kills a target, but also if they've been marked by her E or ultimate. Her W will first make her channel and immediately grant her a passive stack. After the channel time is over, or if she reactivates it, it will flourish her blades in front of her, dealing damage to all enemies and increasing this damage based on the amount channeled. Her E places a blade in a location and can then be recast to send another blade to another location. After a brief delay, they'll fly towards each other and stun targets caught in the crossfire. Finally, her ultimate will strike her blades in front of her towards an enemy champion and create a spade-shaped barrier that will disarm champions as well as slow them. She's quite the mobile champion, and now that her Q gets its cooldown restored from simple marked targets, it allows her to do stuff like this. In terms of spells, you'll probably still see her run teleport to help out her team in all the fronts of the battle. You on the other hand should really take teleport to try and counter hers. As for power spikes, this one's quite tricky. She has a pretty good level 3 and level 6, with which she'll most likely try to engage, so be careful about those. Sheen is still badass when it comes to her damage output, and Triforce will make her an absolute beast. Her early is okay, mid game is insane, and late game she falls off quite a bit. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, she can continuously dash with her Q to mark targets. Her ultimate is a dodgeable skill shot, and mobility gets easily countered by pitting her to the ground with CC. Ultimately, have fun doing it.